I have been spot on the face for the color of my skin in different countries where I've experienced racism in more ways than I would like. Being the first African woman to manage NBA scouting on the continent, it's a huge responsibility. Sports is the future of Africa, it's the weapon of Africa, especially for the girls. It's very important that they see somebody like them um, doing this. Some of the challenges were being woken up at night by pickups and men, unknown men that were demanding for dad to step out and mom would always come in between. Our parents just continued to look for greener pastures, hence landing um, a scholarship to uh, a school in Kenya, uh, which was the first place that we actually could um, enjoy uh, the right of playing sports because back in Sudan, due to the religious belief, sports and seeing a girl or a woman in shorts was uh, a taboo. I remember 2012 was the first time I actually had gone back to South Sudan when South Sudan was a country and I saw the some of the injustices that I felt against women and I cried for way too long and it got to a point where I was done crying and I needed to find out what I could do to contribute towards um, making some things right. Because I mean, I'm this kid's, they're me, and um, without the support of different people, I, w I wouldn't be where I am. In the beginning, I was in denial that such traumas and rape doesn't happen to six foot two girls. And it makes you feel just worthless and helpless and bitter. I had to start by forgiving, which was one of the hardest things I have ever had to do in my life. How I give back is through Home at Home Foundation and doing the little that we can. I've experienced racism and that's why I love mentoring, because without the foundation of what my family instilled in me, I wouldn't have been able to withstand all of that. Our first girl, we're very proud of her, our pioneer from uh, Kakuma refugee camp, uh, graduated from Riara University, and she's now back in South Sudan looking for jobs. In fact, it's my hope that ball gets to the point where this Women Basketball African League, that is a platform just like it is now for the men. That is my dream for this girl, that they're not limited by culture, that they're free and liberated in their minds and can chase their dreams 